Now I'm mulching the garlic that I just planted. Ethan, by the way, again, with garlic. And I'm mulching what I just planted. And this is hay mulch. Usually when you're mulching, you want to mulch with straw because straw is like uh, the chaff of a wheat plant or a barley plant or something like that. And you know it doesn't have any seed in it. Now, there's no guarantee that this hay mulch doesn't have some seed in it. In fact, it does. For the purposes of where we're growing garlic, it's not the end of the world that this has some seed, some grass seed in it. We'll, um, I'll manage the weeds next spring a couple of times um, just by pulling them. Um, and because I have only two rows of garlic in here, I can easily come down on the one side and weed on that side from, from this side of the row and weed on the other side um, so that it's it goes quickly um, it's not too cumbersome and it, sa it saves a little bit of time now like i said we're mulching with hay because what this with this hay mulch will do is it'll keep moisture in um, over this garlic it'll help insulate it over the winter and it will also keep the fall weeds or any weeds in the spring that are in this soil any weed seed that's in this soil bed from germinating um so that's why you you mulch it with hay. Some people mulch it with uh, black plastic. Some people mulch don't mulch it at all, and they just leave leave it bare. And they use like a cultivator um, or some kind of weeding implement to come in and weed weed it. Then um, I'm choosing to go the route of of mulch, um, uh, hay mulch, as opposed to straw mulch because it's what we have here on the farm. Like I said, and. Uh, Hopefully it doesn't make the garlic patch too weedy. If it does, I'll just have a little extra weeding to do in the spring and, and it won't be that big of a deal before we pull the garlic in July. So I used hay mulch last year and it turned out to be pretty, to, to be all right. So I'm not overly concerned about it.